Hey everyone, it's Wisdom Wednesday here and I'm Kim Barnes Jefferson from the Fabulous Fit Squad. And today I wanted to talk about belly fat. You know, here in New England, we've had a couple of tastes of 70 degrees. And when that warm weather comes, we reach into our closets and we pick out, you know, some of our warm weather clothes and they may not fit the way we remember. So we are like, oh, how, you know, how does this happen? How does, you know, from last summer to this summer, how does that extra fluff creep on? And most importantly, how the heck can I get this off so I can fit into these clothes for the rest of the summer because I ain't shopping. So here we are. Here's how it works. Um, why does it happen and what you can do about it. So one of the biggest, I, I'd say, caloric intakes that we can easily change is booze. I'm sorry, I know, I know, I know. I, I like myself a good glass of vino too, but if I'm trying to lose the fluff, I'm gonna to need to scale back my booze. Booze is just empty calories. Um, you know, yes, there, there's studies about red wine and all that stuff, but it ain't every damn night having a glass or two of red wine. So I ask you, you know, if you really want this fluff off, dropping the booze, scaling back the booze is definitely going to move that belly fat or overall fat in a, in a better direction. The other thing is stress. If you are a stress ball, you are just pumping, pumping cortisol out into your system. And when you have no saber-toothed tiger chasing you, that for us ladies, that, that cortisol is just gonna store in our fat stores and it likes to hang out it in our belly like it's the mall. It just likes to hang out there. So if you can find ways to relax, um, take a bath, meditate, you know, just remove yourself from stressful situations. I know that we have periods of stress, but I'm talking about those prolonged that you're just stressed all the time. That's just gonna really go right to that belly fat area. Also sleep. I mean, so many people, and I know I've, I've talked about this a million times, but so many people get so wrapped up in all the things they need to get done and that they can get by on X number of hours of sleep. And like I always say, instead of getting by, imagine thriving versus surviving. And you know, the average person needs at least seven plus hours of sleep. You know, to get that, set a bedtime. You know, most of us are staying up late at night. We're not curing cancer. We're not trying to, you know, put peace in the Middle East. So just set that bedtime and, you know, give it a shot. And trust me, you'll feel so much better for it. And lastly, water. You know, water is amazing. You know, water flushes off the toxins. Water flushes out all the junk that's in our system. Sometimes we might be a little dehydrated, so our body might be holding on to a little water so that it has water. So give those tips a try. And if you want more, um, I, sent the, I sent this out to my uh, email list earlier today, and I'd love to share this information with you. Um, just go to uh, bit.ly slash summerbelly, and you'll get all of these tips and uh, a, few more, a few more ways that you can drop the belly fat fast. Have an amazing Wednesday and I'll talk to you next week.